Hi, this is Tony at Owen Powered Access. Quick video today on what to do if someone's stuck at the top of an electric scissor lift. Now this particular model, JCB 1930E, which is 19 foot tall, 30 inches wide, that's how they get the numbers. Um, very similar to a lot of other stuff, Genie, uh, even some of the snorkel ones. Anyway, you'll find they're all very much similar. So if you've got someone stuck at the top, it's most likely for two reasons. Um, one, the machine is broken down, which obviously can happen, anything can break down. Second one is the person at the top has hurt themselves. Um, so if the person at the top has hurt themselves, but there's nothing wrong with the machine, the easiest thing to do, um, if you're on the ground, come down, switch the key switch over to the ground controls. Um, so most most of these uh, manufacturers are very similar, so just make yourself familiar with yours. It's as simple as pressing the down button, and away she goes. Um, if the other reason, the machine is actually uh, broken down and the person is stuck at the top and they've asked for your help, um, there is a manual bleed down and they're usually found on the back of the machine where the step is, you see the sign there, emergency use only, and under the back here is the bleed down valve and it's this one on the left here. Um, the other ones here are actually not for emergency purposes as such but they're if the machine is broken down you need to tow it onto a trailer or move it out of the way, you can actually push this and then pump this handle and that lets you take the brakes off and allow this to freewheel. So you've got to be very careful when you do that if you do that on a slope and you've got sort of one and a half tons of machine on the move and you don't want it to be. Okay, right, so this handle is the one to pull to bring the machine down. Just explain how that works. If we come round here to the bottom of the hydraulic ram. Now in normal circumstances, if you can see that, there's a solenoid just here. When you press the down controls from the basket at the top, electric solenoid pops this valve open allows the oil back to the tank the gravity brings the machine down in an emergency piggybacked onto the end of that is this cable and this cable runs all the way down and eventually finds itself here um, so to bring this down it really is as simple as putting your hands in giving this a, a firm pull you can hear the oil coming out that machine is now coming down I'm going to stop that there. Um, the only other thing to explain is there's a very good reason why this is placed where it is here, next to the step. This step stops you having your arms anywhere they shouldn't be. I know you're going to say you're doing that yourself here now, but for the purposes of the video, I'll stick my hands just out here. By having the emergency controls located through here, it very much reduces your ability to get your arm into the uh, into the hydraulics and all the steel components there. So there we are. So pull this and wait for the machine to come down. There we are. So that's a basic overview of the emergency descent on a modern electric scissor lift.